Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to make an alpha map from images that you've got. So I've got this image, I think it's from CG Textures, and what I want to do is have it so if I apply it to a plane, I don't actually notice the background. It can work with any image, you've just got to follow a certain set of rules to make it work. It can be often used with foliage, sometimes fence meshes, things that you don't want to have to model if there's going to be a lot of it or something that just doesn't need to be modeled so what we're going to do is we're going to actually make a new channel in our channels and what we're going to do is we click the little button down at the bottom here which makes a new channel which makes a new alpha channel and we're going to click on back to RGB and unhide and hide the alpha we're going to go back to our layers go and press control A to select all and control C to copy the image go back to channels choose the alpha channel again and press control V and then what we do is we paste that image into the alpha channel and what we want to do from here is go to image adjustments invert because the way alphas work is anything that's dark or black you won't see and anything that's white you want to so you want to actually see this leaf but not its background so what we want to do is go to image adjustments and then curves and then change it so the leaf is um, totally white and the background as dark as it possibly can be then what we want to do is it doesn't really matter but we can go back onto the RGB layers and what we want to do then is save it out and we can call it leaf one something we want to save that as a target save that out 32 bit pixels is okay minimize that and then if I show you how it works in unity so if I'm part a new asset import leaf one and you can see it's got the white background on it we drag that onto our plane we don't see any difference because it's just a diffuse shader we go on transparent cutout diffuse you can see now that we've actually lost that white background and what we can do is by using the alpha cutoff we can actually scrub it across so we lose if we take it down we'll get the alpha back but if we take it all the way to the other end we'll cut out most of the area that we didn't want so you can literally use that as many times as you desire in your scene to make whatever you want to make so pretty much that's just the basics of making an alpha map for any image as long as you remember that the dark area is what you don't want to see and then the white is what you do want to see cheers